Welcome to the SEAL Team 6 Revealed. The following is an opinion from both a SEAL Team 6 operator and one of Osama bin Laden's wives. The bin Laden raid from a very different perspective. I read an interesting excerpt about one of bin Laden's wives, Amal, and her take on what happened that night. Now there are some things in her story that are not accurate, e.g., acting like she played dead and motionless maybe initially but then she was yelling at the entire team like a maniac damn near the entire time. Perceptions do vary and even among those of us that were there, you will see variances in stories. It is interesting to hear it from the other side and nice to know he was terrified before he died like a dog. Amal recalls the sickening screech with which a U.S. military Black Hawk helicopter landed in the compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, that the family was hiding out in for six years, and the fear on the face of her husband when he was woken up by it. As the SEALs moved towards the house, Bin Laden's family, three of his four wives and their children, gathered in his upstairs bedroom and prayed, she says. He then told his wives to go downstairs with their children, they want me, not you. Amal, however, insisted on staying by his side with their son Hussein. In the tense moments in which they waited as the Navy SEAL team crept upwards towards their room, killing one of Osama's sons Khalid and clashing with his daughters Sumi and Miriam on the way, Amal realized someone in their inner circle had given away the location of their safe house, it was clear, she thought. Their safe house was a death trap and someone had betrayed them. Her account suggests Bin Laden had no contingency plan in place for such an assault, as she recalls realizing with cold dread that there was no emergency procedure to follow aside from Samiro's zone into her husband's underwear along with emergency numbers for his deputies in Vatziashtan. When the Navy team entered the room, she tried to rush them, but was shot in the leg and passed out. When she came to, Bin Laden was already dead. A trembling Hussein, who had witnessed the killing of his father, sat by her side. Amal recalls how she stayed motionless and played dead, listening to the seals hold the terrified Sumaya and Miriam and Bin Laden's distraught second wife Karaya next to his body to confirm his identity. They took Bin Laden's body and the family downstairs and Amal realized, she says, that the end they had never dared to discuss had come and gone in minutes.